<laughs> Welcome to the Dunning Letters topic. At the end of this topic, you will be able to run the Dunning Wizard to generate a Dunning Letters. Maria tells you that controlling customer receivable status and minimizing payment delays is crucial. You introduce her with the Dunning process that enables sending reminder and warning letters for open AR invoices. What proactive steps can OEC computers take to improve the cash flow results? What kind of options does a company have to ensure timely payments? How can they prevent bad debts? To enhance a positive cash flow the first step will be to send debtor statements for outstanding debts. This statement can be printed out from the aging report. Once the customer's debt is overdue the next level of debt collection would be charging the customer interest and dunning fees. The company should activate a multi-level collection process using the telephone, email, or printed reminders for the remiss customer. This is done by the dunning process. SAP Business One provides a dunning wizard for producing reminder letters. The Dunning Wizard enables you to create and send letters to customers that have not paid their open invoices within a given time range and reminds them of their overdue payments. Go to Sales AR Dunning Wizard. The Dunning Wizard runs through all the customers, checks all outstanding AR invoices and transactions that represent debt, and enables you to print and send or email reminder letters of different levels of severity. In addition, service invoices are created automatically for interest and Dunning fees during the Dunning Wizard run. This way, Dunning interest and fees are reflected in the business partner account balance. For this purpose you need to configure the Dunning system. To configure the Dunning system, go to the Administration module. In the Setup menu, choose the Business Partners sub-menu and then the Dunning Terms option. In each Dunning term, you can define multiple levels of Dunning letters. This definition will set the automatic creation of Dunning letters. For each level, you can define when to send the letter, how much fee to charge per letter, and whether to charge interest or not. A best practice would be to make each level more severe. Let us examine the example shown in the image. In the first Dunning letter, the effective after field states the value 30. This means that 30 days after the due date of the open invoice, Dunning letter 01 will be recommended for issue. Dunning letter 02 will be issued 10 days after Dunning letter 01 was issued. Dunning Letter 03 will be issued 10 days after Dunning Letter 02 was issued. You can also see that every letter will invoice the customer a fee of 5, plus an interest amount. When you select at least one interest option in one of the levels, the bank interest percent section appears at the bottom with the relevant fields for you to define. In the annual interest rate field define the rate to be used in calculations in the Dunning Letter. In the automatic posting field, specify whether to automatically post interest and fee, interest only, or fee only when creating a Dunning letter for a customer. If you choose to automatically post interest and or fee, a service invoice is created in the Dunning run that posts the interest and or fee. To enable this, accounts for posting interest and fee must be specified. The default accounts are taken from the GL account determination. However, you can change this setting by choosing the browse icon and specifying different accounts. You can also choose not to post any interest or fee. You can edit the default Dunning letters in the Report and Layout Manager which is found in the General Setup area of the Administration module. Each customer must be assigned a Dunning term. It is possible to set up a default Dunning term for new customers on the BP tab in the General Settings. The Dunning term will appear in the Customer Master Data Record on the Payment Terms tab. Once a Dunning term is selected for the business partner, the Automatic Posting field appears. The value in this field is taken from the definition in the Dunning Terms setup window, but can be changed for each customer. Now you can run the Dunning Wizard to view delinquent customers and send Dunning notices, as well as service invoices for interest and Dunning fees. After running the Dunning Wizard, you can also track the last level of Dunning letters in the accounting tab of the master data. SAP Business One can display open transactions of connected vendors in the Dunning Wizard recommendation report. When Maria, the accountant, runs the Dunning Wizard, she also considers the debts of OEC computers to connected vendors before sending Dunning letters. Look at the image. This is a recommendation report for the business partner MaxiTech, which is both a customer and vendor of OEC computers. The customer and the vendor master data are connected. Therefore the recommendation report displays the open transactions of MaxiTech the vendor as well. Note that to display transactions of connected vendors, you have to check the Consider Connected Vendors box while running the wizard. 
Also note that the open balance of vendors and the open balance of customers are displayed separately and thus do not affect any customer dunning calculation or the content of letters. To learn more about connected business partners, refer to the customers and customer groups topic. Here are some key points to take away. The Dunning Wizard runs through all customers and checks all outstanding AR invoices and transactions that represent debt. The Dunning Wizard enables you to email or print and send reminder letters with different levels of severity. Automatically create service invoices for interest and Dunning fees. View connected vendors open transactions. In the Dunning terms window you set the Dunning letter levels, the fees and interest for each level, interest level and GL account for creating the automatic invoices. In the business master data, you can configure and monitor Dunning information of a customer. You have completed the topic on cash management reports. Thank you for your time.